Welcome to the 2020 Annual Regis National Care Awards, where we celebrate Regis's highest achieving people. Regis Aged Care respectfully acknowledges the traditional owners of the land on which we're celebrating today. I'm on the lands of the Wurundjeri and the Bunurung peoples and pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. I want to start by acknowledging the extremely challenging year we are experiencing. Many residents, clients and families have provided messages of support and encouragement to you, our direct care teams, support teams and managers. I'm sure their support has a much greater impact than they can imagine, and I'm grateful that they've taken the time to let us know. Thank you to all of you for your efforts and contribution. This year, we celebrate our National Care Awards in a very different way to previous years. We are delivering the announcement virtually, and many of you will be participating in local celebrations with your teams. Whilst this is different, it's no less special and creates opportunity for many more people to come together to share in the celebrations. The National Care Awards recognise our staff and volunteers who have gone above and beyond. The awards identify individuals, teams and sites who demonstrate excellence, a commitment to the Regis way and make Regis a better place for our residents to live and our staff to work. Today we celebrate the continued skills, energy and efforts of the best of the best of our staff and volunteers. With over 3,000 nominations being submitted from staff, residents and their families, this in itself is acknowledgement of the fantastic work we do here at Regis. For many reasons, the previous 12 months have been extremely challenging for aged care as an industry, and indeed the world. Regis continues to support the Royal Commission into Aged Care and we are looking forward to seeing much needed change when the results are reported in February next year. Looking ahead, I'm looking forward to our continued focus on clinical governance and embracing the quality indicators we saw introduced in July 2019. This focus enables us to truly ensure our residents and clients receive the very best care. And so today, on our National Care Awards Day, we will shine light on those especially bright stars among us and share in their joy. Thank you again to all Regis employees for what you do each and every day. I hope you all enjoy this day and this new unique way in which we're celebrating in 2020. Before we commence the announcements of the awards, I'd like to confirm the process for today and some housekeeping. This year, the announcements will occur at four scheduled times, where we'll announce three to four awards. For the schedule, please check the Regis Awards microsite at www.regiscareawards.com.au. If you miss one of the scheduled announcements, don't worry. The full recording will be available on the Regis Awards microsite via the link which has been sent as a text message to all staff members. For those nominated, please listen carefully. We will be describing each award finalist before announcing the winner and the runner up. For those who are celebrating in a location with a finalist, please be ready to congratulate them and share in their joy. We will also ask if you could please ensure to take photos and send to marketing at regis.com.au after today. And lastly, certificates and award payments will be available for winners and finalists within the next week. First award, Outstanding Safety and Wellbeing. The 2020 Outstanding Safety and Wellbeing Award is sponsored by GIO. GIO is Regis's single largest partner of workers' compensation management who support Tasmania, New South Wales, Northern Territory and Western Australia. GIO support the workplace health and safety team in returning our injured employees back to full duties. This award recognises staff with a strong commitment and resourcefulness in improving workplace health, safety and well-being. This may be demonstrated by identifying hazards in the workplace and implementing effective solutions, creating a safer or more supportive and inclusive environment for employees recovering from illness or injury as well as creating and supporting workplace mental health initiatives. The 2019 winner was Andrew Harsnich from Dandong North. The finalists for 2020 are Uday Dugana from Rose Bay, New South Wales, and Cassandra Kick from Whitfield. Uday Dugana. Uday is known for motivating the staff at Rose Bay to focus on safety. 
keeping themselves and residents safe. As a maintenance officer, he has often found identifying and resolving hazards swiftly, from wet floors and sharp edges to broken trolleys. Uday will spot a potential hazard and it will be fixed before you know it. Uday is there to support his colleagues. This includes one time when he saw a cleaning staff member mopping and made a simple suggestion around an alternative movement which made it much easier. This is Uday. He'll always stop what he was doing to offer advice or help to others, facilitating a safer environment. Cassandra Kick. Cassandra lives and breathes workplace health and safety. While her primary positions are AIN and health and safety rep, Cassandra is known for jumping into any role where she is needed. This could be anything from helping out in the laundry, labeling clothing, to supporting on the reception desk. Cassandra is committed to ensuring residents and staff safely through coaching staff on correct manual handling techniques, using catch and call to improve behaviors and diligently entering hazards into risk man. The winner in the 2020 Outstanding Safety and Wellbeing Award is Uday Dugana. Congratulations to Uday. For those of you celebrating with Uday, Please cheer that little bit louder now and take some fabulous photos. The runner-up in the 2020 Outstanding Safety and Wellbeing Award is Cassandra Kick. Congratulations, Cassandra. What an exceptional achievement. Second award, Environmental Leadership. Now in its third year, the Environmental Leadership Award goes to a person or team at Regis who has made a significant and voluntary contribution to environmental sustainability. This could be through a project demonstrating meaningful outcomes for customers, having a positive impact on the environment and or enhance the quality of life for our customers, as well as being transferable and able to be replicated by other sites or teams. The 2019 winner was Regis Winham. The finalists for 2020 are Sally Clark from Regis Winham and Anala Lodge. Sally Clark. Sally is Regis Winham's change and recycling warrior. Sally initiated a program facilitated by an external company whereby all plastic bottles from staff and residents would be collected. In return, an email was provided back advising how much waste they would have mitigated by recycling as well as a CO2 reduction based on this. Sally reuses coffee grounds for the garden to improve the health of the veggie patch which is used in resident meals. Sally is an ideas person and also motivates others to come up with ideas too. She has done this through implementing an environment ideas tree in the staff room. Employees put their ideas and tips for recycling and reusing, which encourages sustainability more broadly than just at the home. Inala Lodge. Inala Lodge is taking many steps to ensure they are an environmental leader. This includes having not one, but three garden beds in which the residents can grow fruit, veggies, and herbs. The residents love to water the plants and use the produce in meals. Composting the green waste is also important and supports the plant's growth. Recycling and upcycling is also big at Nala Lodge. Utilizing various 70s items that were donated, the home was able to recreate a 70s themed kitchen, which the residents just love. Cookbooks, an old telephone and milkshake maker, and much more. Many activities from across the home utilize recycled boxes and secondhand items as a way to focus on reducing consumption of new materials. At Inala, they believe the Regis way is about social sustainability and they are committed to living by this approach. The winner in the 2020 environmental leadership is Inala Lodge. Congratulations, Inala Lodge. The runner up in the 2020 environmental leadership is Sally Clark. Congratulations. For those celebrating with Sally and those at Inala Lodge, please celebrate that little bit more now. The third and final award for the first section of today is the Award for Outstanding Personal Leadership. This award goes to a leader who has helped their team achieve exceptional performance through establishing clear purpose, values, directions and performance expectations. 
They have demonstrated timely and effective decision-making, reporting and risk management skills, including adherence to Regis policies and processes. As a true leader, they inspire those around them, support creativity and innovation and help to expand their team's own thinking, confidence and talent. The 2019 winner of Outstanding Personal Leadership was Hannah Coelho. The finalists for 2020 include Sarish Faran, General Manager at Regis Inala Lodge, and Miranda Angel, Regional General Manager, Far North Queensland. Sarish Faran. Sarish joined Regis in 2014 as a personal carer. Her passion and enthusiasm for development has seen her progress to a registered nurse, clinical care manager, and most recently, a general manager. Sarish is respected and loved by her team and residents. With a regular presence on the floor, Sarish has positive relationships with families and residents alike, which means they will regularly come to her with concerns, enabling a timely resolution before any escalation. Sarish is known for her high standards and always having resident care as a focus for every decision she makes. She works hard to further develop her team while always accepting them for who they are and supporting them on their journey. Miranda Angel. Miranda is a leader who has high expectations and will support and guide her teams, enabling exceptional outcomes. Miranda's team describe her as someone who doesn't beat around the bush and is always prepared to lend a hand, whether this is through coaching and guiding or physically getting in and helping. Miranda has supported the integration of Air and Home Hill into our Regis family this year and has built relationships both in the homes and the community. Miranda is known for bringing a can-do attitude along with consistent demonstration of the Regis values. The winner in the 2020 Outstanding Personal Leadership Award is Suresh Faran. Congratulations, Suresh. The runner-up in the 2020 Outstanding Personal Leadership Award is Miranda Angel. Congratulations, Miranda. Join me in celebrating Suresh and Miranda. This brings us to the conclusion of the first set of announcements. We'll be back shortly with a second set, so please take the time to take some photos of our winners and runners-up and enjoy the celebrations wherever you are.